Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the new stroke options on the shape tools in Photoshop CS6. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and I'm just going to head down to our shape tools and I'm going to select the rectangle tool. I'm just going to hold shift and drag out a nice perfect blue square. So once we have that, I'm just going to remain on the shape layer and I'm just going to take and zoom in. Now, in order to create a stroke on this shape in previous versions of Photoshop, you would take and go to your layers panel at the very bottom. You see the little FX button. Now I'm going to click on that and off screen, I'm selecting stroke and it'll bring up this box and you can basically select the stroke size right here, um, set it to inside or outside and a few other options. Now, if you wanted a custom stroke, such as you would get in other programs like Illustrator, you would have to custom make that because these were the only automated options for the stroke in Photoshop. Now, with Photoshop CS6, you get a couple more options in order to help you customize your shape. So, basically what we're going to do is head up to the very top of your uh, Photoshop window. So, we're looking at these other options up here. Now, with your shape tool selected, you can take and click on Stroke come down and select another color and you can instantly see it's been added to your shape. All right, so at this point, basically it's the same as uh, what we saw with just using a layer style. You can take and also scale this up as well. Now, what the change comes with is this box right here. So we're just going to click on that and these are the stroke options. Now you can select between dashed lines, dotted lines, you have some different cap uh, options and corner options. Now, if you were new to this interface, um, if you haven't used, this is very similar to Illustrator. So if you haven't used Illustrator or um, don't know what these options are um, because they don't really label them here, I would recommend just taking and clicking on uh, the more options button because it brings up this nice little box where it actually labels the elements that are in this interface. So within here, um, I already mentioned that you have your solid line, you have your dashed line, and you have your dotted line. Now I'm just going to keep it on dashed in order to show you some of this stuff. Um, you have some options of how you want the stroke to be aligned to your shape. So you can set it to inside, so it's basically inside the um, boundaries of your shape. You can set it to center, so that it centers the stroke on the boundary of your shape, and then um, outside is completely outside of that boundary. So I'm just going to put it back to uh, inside, and you can also change the cap, and basically what that is, is on this um, dashed line, it's going to be on these pieces right here. So you can see that we have the butt part right here. Now you'll be able to see this a little better when I select round. You can see it's now rounded out those dashes. And square basically extends um, part of the stroke past the end point. So you can see that if we change it from square to butt, um, they get shorter. So that's kind of what's happening there. Now you also have some corner options and I'm going to take and select the solid line and I'm going to put this to outside in order to give you a good effect of what this is actually doing. Now with the corners, currently we have it on miter. Now that basically just is the hard corner um, that you see right here. If we select round, you can see that it rounds off the corners. And then bevel, it will actually kind of chisel off the corners. So if we go back to the dash line, that's what these options at the bottom are for. You can see right here we have a four and a two and we have dashed line selected or uh, checked in the checkbox. Now the first number that you have here is um, for the dash and that's actually denoting the length of your dash. So if I took and put this from four to say eight, you can see that these get considerably longer, maybe too long, we'll put it back to six. Now this gap is basically the size in between each of these dashed elements. So I can take and change it from two to four and you can see that the gap increases and it changes the number of dashes um, according to the gap and your length of dash so that it'll kind of um, fit them in accordingly. Now you'll see that you have a couple of other boxes. Um, you see that there's two other um, sets of those dash and gap boxes. Um, the first one and the other one are basically the same thing. It's if you want to add in um, multiple sizes of dashes and gaps. So say that we wanted to add in, um, we can bring this down to say like five. So we have a little bit of room. Say that we wanted to bring in another dash that was um, a length of three and then we wanted to have a gap of one. Now you can see that we have our dash of five right here and gap of four. And we also have our dash of three and gap of one. So basically you can get some really cool um, kind of custom effects there. And you can also save anything. So say that we wanted to save this as a preset, you can come up here and save it so that you can use it again later. So um, this is definitely getting Photoshop a lot closer to Illustrator in terms of uh, stroking of shapes. So um, I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. I hope you guys try out Photoshop CS6. Again, I'm including the link to the free and open beta uh, in the description down below. 
So I invite you to check that out. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. I have a new video coming out every week, and I'll see you uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching.